to intermediate level English language arts. Hi guys and welcome to English Language Arts Grade 6. Our topic for today would be recognizing kinds of sentences. Okay, so before we go to that, okay, we let's try to discuss first all of the things, right? All of the things that you have to understand before we discuss the different kinds of sentences. There are a few terms that we'd like to discuss first. Number one, sentence. When you say sentence, kids, this is a group of words that have a complete thought. It has a subject and a predicate, okay? So it has to be a group of words, it has to have a complete thought, and it has to have a subject and a predicate. The subject of a sentence is a part of the sentence that contains a doer of the action and or the main topic of the sentence. Why is it and or or? It's because not all the time do sentences have doers of the action. Because not all the time do sentences have action verbs. They all have verbs, yes, but not all, not all of them are action verbs. So that's why you could either have a doer or not. But you always have the main topic of the sentence. The predicate of the sentence is the part that contains the details and information that would complete the sentence. It also contains the main verb of a sentence. A clause is a group of words that has a subject and a predicate but does not have a complete thought. All right? Okay. So let's go through them. There are three different kinds of sentences. Simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. Let's go with simple sentences. These are sentences that are made up of either a simple or compound subject and a simple and or compound predicate. When you say simple subjects, these are just um, subjects that are just the main ones, the exact words that are being talked about are the doers. Okay, And if it's compound, you have one or, or two or more of them. Same as with uh, simple predicate, this is the exact verb, the main verb. And if you have more than one main verb, then that's going to be a compound predicate. Example, the cat liked the sushi. Everything that's underlined is the complete predicate. Everything that's not underlined is the complete subject. But in the complete subject, the one in purple, that is the simple subject. And the one in yellow is the simple predicate. Look at the next example. A dog and a goat sat there. Here we have two simple subjects. Dog, goat. This is a compound subject. We also have just one uh, main verb that sat. Therefore, that is just the simple predicate. Next, my mom baked and cooked last night. Here again, we have two main verbs. Baked and cooked. So that is your compound predicate. And then your simple subject is mom. Next one. Sarah and John worked and played all day yesterday. Sarah, John, two simple subjects. That's the compound subject. Worked, played. That is your um, uh, two simple predicates. So that is a compound predicate. So that's a simple sentence. So before we go on to the compound and the complex sentences, let us first understand clauses. Clauses, kids, again, these are groups of words that have a subject and a predicate, but, 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 they do not have a complete thought. So example, independence, uh, in, sorry, independent clause. Independent clauses, these are clauses that can stand on their own. They're also known as just simple sentences. The only difference is that they are used in sentences with another clause. Example, the handsome Ella teacher is funny and he is also my favorite teacher. Here, guys, we have the underlined uh, words here. This handsome Ella teacher is funny, right? Here, this is an independent clause. Why? It did not end there. Your sentence did not end there. You have additional points. And he is also my favorite teacher. This additional sentence or this additional clause makes this one, the handsome Ella teacher is funny, um, an independent clause. How about dependent clause? These are clauses that can't stand on their own. They're like simple sentences too, but they start with words called conjunctions. They show, or these words are words that show that there is an additional part of the sentence. Example, because the handsome Ella, Ella teacher is funny, he is my favorite. Here, guys, because the handsome Ella teacher is funny, because the handsome Ella teacher is funny, that word, because, it shows that there's an additional part. There's something more. Why? Because there must be something more. Therefore, this statement right here, because the handsome Ella teacher is funny, is a dependent clause. It depends on something. It needs something else, which is an independent clause. He is my favorite. So now we go on to compound sentences. 
Right. So compound sentences, these are sentences that are made up of two um, independent clauses combined by conjunctions. Conjunctions. These conjunctions used to combine independent clauses in compound sentences. And these are words like for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. If you see these words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so, then you are looking at the compound sentence. When you combine two independent clauses by these, example, the grade 6 students are crazy, but they are also very smart. You have two independent clauses here. The grade 6 students are crazy. They are also very smart. You combine them by the word but. Therefore, this is now a compound sentence. Next, complex sentence. Complex sentences are sentences made up of an independent clause and a dependent clause. They are combined by conjunctions such, such as although, because, since, unless, though. Example, since my Ella teacher is very funny, I will give him food. Here, what's underlined, since my Ella teacher is very funny, this is a dependent clause. And the one that's not underlined is your independent clause. Therefore, you created a complex sentence. Next, I will buy coffee for my Ella teacher because he is handsome. Because he is handsome, again, this is your dependent clause. And you're independent, I will buy coffee for my Ella teacher. These are your different sentences. Simple, compound, and complex. Please, please, please take note of the differences. Make sure that you would always take note of the differences. One key thing, guys, you could always take note of is that the difference of compound and complex sentences. Compound sentences, the conjunctions are for, and, but, yet, or, so. Whereas complex sentences, you have other words like I'll, although, because, since, unless, many more. All right? And that pretty much ends our topic for the different kinds of sentences.